Well, good day, everybody. Today's a new day and a new adventure. Now, I gotta work on getting that on the stand with this. And I got some slings hanging up there, so. Yeah, these cherry pickers come in handy for many things, especially this, getting this bad boy on. These little lifting straps I get off of hydraulic pumps. There's no real weight rating on them, but those hydraulic pumps weigh a couple few hundred pounds. So two of those, that press is 300, work like a charm. The big question is, an already over full garage, where the hell am I going to put this thing? Where I'm not tripping over it, like I'm tripping over everything else. I need a bigger garage. I need a garage that's at least 48 feet by 36 feet. That would be perfect for me. <sighs> it's not in the cards right now, unless I win the lottery or something. So let's play the shuffling game and see if we can find a home for it. Well, there she be. So let's grab this piece of metal. This is uh, off of my Jeep. What was left of the hood cut out after I put the poison spider louvers in. <sighs> see if we can make something. I don't know if this metal will be too thick. Hope not. Locked and loaded. So far, this thing is pretty impressive. It made some nice bends. It wasn't hard to bend it either. I think if you had a full sheet at the maximum thickness, it would be, but <clears throat> this winter will be time to get serious. Uh, talk to Fedor and some other people. I want to start fabricating some custom parts for Jeeps, like um, under the seat lock boxes, uh, boxes for the back of the Jeeps, that kind of stuff, uh, gold sluices. Uh, just be creative, start fabricating some stuff. As you guys know, upgraded my welder too, hell of a lot better. And there's a few other things I need to get to uh, to start making some custom things. One of them is a 3D printer. And yeah, over the next few months, gonna be stockpiling on things I need and shit's gonna get serious. Here's a little trick for you guys. My iPhone has been having problems charging. Make sure it's powered off, and you'd be amazed how much shit gets in there. As you can see, all the crap on that pick, that's all pocket lint and everything else that builds up from having your pocket, and every time your cable's plugged in, it keeps packing it in at the bottom further and further, so eventually it comes to a point where you're wiggling the cord to get it to charge, and you think that the cord's bad, when realistically, it's lint inside of your charging jack. Just hanging out in the garage and Aubrey came over. First time I haven't seen him in a while. Motherfucking beer Motherfucking time. Motherfucking beer time. Aubrey just took off. Metal press works pretty good for a beer holder. He stopped by to borrow my VW scanner, the one I got from the Chinese company, which I really wasn't happy about because his Volkswagen has an engine code. He's a little worried about it. And he doesn't want to spend a lot of money on the car right now because the whole VW scandal is coming to an end. And he doesn't want to spend money on it in case he sells it back or Volkswagen makes him sell it back to him. So he's hoping it's nothing too serious. He's going to send me a text later today once he gets home to give it a shot. But we do have some mail that came in when I went to the post office. Right down here, a couple letters. We're going to open up those. 
All right, from Montana Low Gear, he writes, Jerry, let me start by saying I didn't send this to get recognition on your channel. I don't expect you to make a video to showcase a sticker for me. I'm a big fan of BS Corner, obviously because I have a heavily modified TJ myself. Many of the mods I did early on were done because of your channel, so this is just a cool gift for helping I believe you. I stumbled across your channel uh, from Steve Robb, and if I'm correct, you did a V8 swap in your TJ. So I'll post a link to your channel at the bottom so people can go and check it out. I want to thank you for the stickers and the letter. I want to thank you, Joko Jinder, for sending me the Unimog stickers. That is so badass. <sighs> You're by far probably my biggest fan. You sent me numerous shit over the past years. Man, I really appreciate it. And when I do make it to Europe, me and you are going to go out, fucking pound some beers, and fuck some bitches. Oh, yeah. I'm running out of real estate on my toolbox. I put Montana low gear there. But since the Unimog was so big, I put it on the bender. The Montana low gear, I tried to put it here, but it's too big. Because everything else in my toolbox, unless you put it on the bottom, small drawers. Everything's already getting stickered up. Ah, it's time to go inside, done for the day. Just finished setting up the TIG welder because some guy wants to come by this week and test it out, so. I just cut up some metal right there to kind of TIG weld together, but I want to see how it's going to work. The Lincoln SP-135 I had sold within a few days. I bought it about 12, 13 years ago for like 750 bucks. Sold it for 300. <clears throat> Did pretty good on that. I'm asking 1200, our best offer for the Lincoln without gas and Hoping to get about a thousand, so I think that's pretty fair for that. All right, well, it's parcel day today. I don't know if I showed you some of these things before, but I'm gonna show you them now. I know one I just got today, so you guys wouldn't have seen it, but one of the things I got, <clears throat> I keep talking about rebuilding the engine in the Articap. This is the gasket set right here. Comes with new valve seals. And uh, this is the new piston we're gonna stick in. That uh, means business. And, the engine block for the Husqvarna chainsaw came in. This is the Chinese knockoff that we're going to be using to build the chainsaw. Which of course, the rebuild of the Articat and that will be on my other channel. I'll just be vlogging about it on this channel, talking about some of the issues and everything else. Well, the other channel will be dumbed down and just show the actual how-to without any issues. Just got this hot water tank ripped down. And uh, my excitement on my Friday so far before the weekend. I'm gonna have a fire yet tonight, but I'm gonna cut a big hole in this tank. See what the condition is. Uh, I think before we cut it open, it's motherfucking beer time. Oh, yeah. That hit the spot. Now we're ready. All right, I just cut it open. I made a video on this on my other channel. So if you want, you can go there and see it a little bit better. And you guys can discuss whether or not this is good or bad. But I'm gonna throw it in the back of my pickup. And that's where I'm gonna forget about it. And chop some wood for fire tonight. That looks like Tomcat and his buddy Charlie are out hunting mice today. Yeah, those two are trouble. <laughs> 